This is Tom Bernanke and today, look at this, foot and ankle cramps right here. So there's a lot of nerves on this foot. What does that mean? There's a lot of different causes. Most of them are harmless, but 20% of the time you gotta go see your doctor, but 80% of the time, the stuff I'm gonna tell you right here will solve your foot and ankle cramps at home. So keep watching, this is the guide for you for foot and ankle cramps. Boop, disclaimer. We can't actually give advice online, so don't listen to anything we ever say. So my most common causes that I see, and studies validate this, are sitting in one position for too long, standing on hard surfaces for too long, three, not wearing the right shoes, four, being overweight, inflexible, weak muscle mass. The scary thing is by the time you go from 20 years old to 60 years old, on average, the human being loses about 40% of their lean muscle mass. And at the same time, they usually don't get 40% lighter. They tend to go up in weight. That means your muscles have to work harder. There's more pressure on your muscles. There's more pressure on the nerves. This causes a lot of stress on those nerves. They're working hard, they're getting overwhelmed by swelling. So if you see these nerves right here, if something's punching the nerve all day long, that nerve is gonna get bruised and damaged. Have you ever bumped your funny bone where your fingers zap and get numb? This is the exact same thing except with your legs. And that happens at night. They're very sore, they're very tender. The second most common cause are is medications. I consider alcohol a uh, medication. If you drink too much alcohol, uh, you're gonna be dehydrated your nerves are not gonna work properly. Uh, there's diuretics that dehydrate you as well. Uh, there's thousands of medications out there. A lot of them can cause cramping by causing a lot of different symptoms for sure. Conditions associated with um, spasms and cramps at nighttime are flat feet, increased weight, more pressure on your feet, knee, foot deformities, arthritis. Specifically, some of the most common things we see as well is nerve disorders like peripheral neuropathy, uh, spinal problems, Parkinson's disease. Most people don't have these, but one that is very common that we see a lot that as you get into your 50s and 60s and you're a heavy duty smoker that you should be worried about is peripheral arterial disease. So this is something your uh, doctor or podiatrist can help you out with, but that's a big one as well. Other causes are people who have cancer and are going through chemotherapy. That's a peripheral neuropathy. Also peripheral neuropathy due to diabetes, due to alcoholism, due to thyroid diseases. All these things can definitely contribute to nighttime cramps. Uh, if you have blood flow disorders or neuro neur neuropathy problems, go get checked out by a doctor. But if you're a person under 50 or 60, generally these are not you. Um, it's usually pregnancy and too much stress on your muscles. So these are the medications that can help. Number one, I would say take a daily multivitamin. Number two, take a magnesium pill. Number three, take vitamin E, vitamin B, but that should already be in your multivitamin. So if you're taking a multivitamin, that's all the supplements you need. That's all studies validate. You don't need much more than that. Don't buy that expensive garbage that's shown in some of the other videos that they're selling you. Save your money. We go by studies only. There's zero studies, nor will there ever be any studies that some of this stuff works. Realistically, uh, it, it's just fluid that rehydrates you with some salt in it. That's all it is. Save your money. So these are the treatments. Get up out of bed. Stretch that muscle, especially your calf muscles, very common. Stretch your toes towards your face. That's great flexibility. That will do a great job helping you out. Number two, get up and walk at, around in bed. That will get your blood flowing a little bit. That works really well, for sure. Number three, um, get on a cycle before you get to bed. Just pedal gently. That definitely helps. My wife's favorite, number four. This one works very well. Uh, lots of science behind it. Get a warm heating pad or a warm pad onto your foot. Uh, get that blood flowing. Get it moving. This stuff will help dramatically. You will feel much better. So get up out of bed. 
walk around. That's an easy one. Number two, uh, start stretching a little bit. Stretch your calf muscles, stretch your hamstrings especially. Number three, you can get on a bike and just cycle a little bit. Do a little bit of light muscle motion to get your blood flowing. Four, drink some water. Get well hydrated. Drinking that water will help. Number five, take your multivitamin. That will help dramatically. But what if you're sore all the time? So here is where I notice people really make a uh, big differences are, are you walking around barefoot at home? Here is a practical tip. Many people don't think it's them, but try this out. Get yourself something at home. At the very least, wearing a pair of Crocs is 10 times better than walking barefoot at home. You know what's 10 times better than a pair of Crocs? Getting a sh good shoe. So this is a great shoe right here and putting an insert in a shoe. This is my house shoe. Yes, I actually wear these at home because I have injuries myself and I get cramps in my hamstrings. I tore my hamstring, I have a lot of scar tissue. So inserts, this prevent nighttime spasms. Yes, they happen to me. I get lots of pain. So I need this correction for sure. So get some support. If that's not doing it, start stretching every day. Start doing a little bit of working out. Start doing a little bit of cycling. Start drinking water. Get your daily multivitamin. This is all the studies show. You don't need anything crazier than this. People think they need crazy stuff. You don't need crazy stuff. Don't buy solutions. Um, over 80% of the time, especially if you're not over 60 years old, it's not nerve disorders, it's not peripheral neuropathy, it's not blood flow problems. If you are over 60 and you had cancer or you have diabetes or are an alcoholic, potentially this could cause some issues, but not for the average young YouTube watcher. This is not you. If you're in high age range, you just gotta see your podiatrist. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. This is Tom Bernacki. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, join our channel. We're gonna keep uh, sending you great videos. We're gonna get rid of your foot cramps and get you feeling better. Thank you.